the signs of a transitional time are newly posted. Some businesses are leaving it up to you. Some are staying with mask requirements. They're all over the map, just like you and your neighbors. I'm glad it all goes away at midnight. I think people are over the whole mask issue and they're just tired of wearing them and they just want to get on with life. Well, I'm still wearing my mask. I got two shots already, but I'm still wearing my mask. Uh, you don't know who has and who hasn't. Ace Hardware has lived by the pandemic tools and rules for 15 months now. Here's the approach they're taking come midnight. We're not trying to be too strict and we're going to follow the rules and um, hopefully the people will uh, be fully vaccinated if they're not going to wear their mask. Uh, no way to know that, you know, so you're going to let people in, you know, obviously. It will be up to each individual business. No more required capacity limit, nor six feet of distance. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine set the expiration date three weeks before the state legislature would have ended his mandates anyway. You cannot mask the intense controversy about all this, even as the orders disappear. I don't think we should have been forced to require wearing masks to begin with. I mean, it's our, our body. We should be able to choose what we're doing with our body. We've found quite a range in the body of opinion out here and a consensus that many shops have loosened their rules just ahead of tomorrow. So I am a bit nervous when I look around and we go in stores and there's not many people still wearing the masks. So I, I, I'm appreciative of the stores that are still requiring them. And a mask requirement will still be uh, in place at many dental offices, many doctor's offices as well. Some restrictions will remain also at nursing homes and assisted living facilities. Morning live in Western Hills, John London, WLWT News Fox.